What's your homeowners association horror story? Our neighborhood hoa tried to make us remove the ivy from our house. After combing through the bylaws there was nothing stating we couldn't have ivy. I put my foot down hard and told them if they made me remove my beloved ivy then I would put 50 pink flamingos in my yard because there was no rule about it. They left us alone after that. This made me smile. For my 16th birthday, my family flocked the yard with 16 lawn flamingos all wearing party hats, in the snow, in February. As someone who works in the law enforcement industry, any HOA complaint that involves someone doing something that's against the HOA rules, but not actually breaking any legal statute. Go. Oh, you don't allow homeowners to park in front of their house, only in their driveway. If it's not posted by the city or state, then it isn't a no parking zone and anyone can park there as long as they aren't blocking a driveway and are parked within 12 inches of the curb. We get harassed constantly for parking in front of our own house. Someone usually comes by on a golf cart and takes a picture, then mails us a photo of the violation with a threatening letter. The rush of power these people must feel. SMH. In former neighborhood, Hoa board wanted to replace the fence that surrounded the entire neighborhood. Just the perimeter fence so that the neighborhood would look nice to the outside. Of course two board members houses also sat on the perimeter so their fences would have been upgraded, which is fine. The cost was only a couple hundred bucks per household, one time fee, but to pass the fee they held a meeting in a little 20 person local library room. Hundreds of community members flooded in to demand an explanation or at least hear it out. One community member had done some research. Pahoa bylaws, they were supposed to have obtained three quotes, they only got one. The same member also dove a little further and found out that the quote had come from a brother-in-law of one of the Hoa board members. Very sketchy. So the community demanded two more quotes which both came in at about half of what the brother-in-law's contracting service had quoted. An educated consumer is powerful. Right now there's huge battle over how red mulch can be. Glad to see some people are using their time wisely. Co-worker lived in a very expensive and very high monthly Hoa neighborhood. They were born in the Netherlands, and had a Dutch flag sticker on their front window, maybe 3 inches tall. They got a $75 fine in the mail. Her dad read the rules over extremely well, went out and photographed over 75 US flags. Went to the head officer and said he wouldn't be writing a $75 check until the person writes up all 75 of the following addresses as there's no exception for an American flag. They dismissed his fine. Rule, not allowed to be obviously foreign. A guy with the name Bill Champion rose the ranks of the local board for a few years, became the president, and suddenly skipped town one night. Left his place empty without telling anyone he was leaving. Months later there was a large deficit in funds discovered that was fudged on the books. So all of the homeowners who had been paying into this large fund that is supposed to be there when roofs and fences need replacement were bamboozled by this guy with a, now, clearly fake name. He probably does this as a long con across the country, while profiting off of other shady dealings as well. I'm inspired tbh. Got a letter from our association telling us they were going to fine us because our dog caused turf damage in our yard. One of the bylaws was that you had to register your pets with the association. We didn't own a dog and they knew it. I told them to take their fine and shove it. The $50 we had to pay the association for a PDF of the bylaws when we sold the place was also ridiculous. I will never live in a community with a whore again. They tried to fine me $3,000 for cutting the top 2 inches off my lawn and reseeding it. Problem was, I had written approval from them from weeks before for the project and all of a the sudden they were labeling my lawn a construction zone. You were constructing grass, I guess. That must be against the rules. When I was about 10 a new neighborhood went up across the street from us that had a hoa. The houses were very nice and were probably worth 200k more than the average house in my town. My parents had owned our house for about 15 years at that point and man did my dad like to pee them off. 
One story that sticks out is when I was a freshman in high school my dad bought a large windmill meant for power it wasn't one of the big ones you see, but smaller in size, probably a good 20 or so feet tall. The hoer in the neighborhood tried to get him to take it down since they deemed it an eyesore. My dad pretty much told them to get lost since they couldn't do anything. They ended up trying to sue us and the judge dismissed the case after my dad explained that the windmill was approved by the city planning committee and he had permits and that we weren't a part of the hoer. He still has it up and decorates it with lights for Christmas. I bought a house in an Hoa community and was a police officer at the time in a large agency. This meant I got a take home car. So a police car was in my driveway whenever I wasn't at work, or it wasn't in for service. Well the hoa was fine if it was in my driveway but not if it was in the street. I was sent several letters stating they would tow the car if it wasn't moved even though there was no rule stating no street park unless it was a commercial vehicle. I guess a cop car is a commercial vehicle in their mind. So I replied, go ahead and tow it. It's not my car and you can fight with the city about it. Well the day came to tow it and the tow truck company, who just happened to be on the towing rotation list for the city, refused to tow it as they were worried it might get them in trouble with the city and tossed off the rotation list costing them thousands. The letters stopped and from then on I only got dirty looks from the hoa board. We had our lot repaved over the course of a week or so and we required to park on the street while it happened. No biggie. Well, some guy late at night swerved to miss a cat with his Ford Expedition work truck and killed my Ford Fusion in the front, and pushed me enough to hop on the curb and backwards into my wife's car. My car was totaled, wife had to have repairs, and he went to jail for 2 months cause he ran. In the end, I got a new car, so it worked out. Fast forward 2 months after I get my new car, which was a first for me, I go to leave for work and as I walk down my steps and look in the lot, I don't see my new car, I usually park it in the same space, every time, I finally found my car, on the other side and not in a spot I would ever park in, I figured my wife moved it or something for a weird reason. Texted her and she said she didn't. I then find out that the hoa decided to just tow and move my car because I had to fix a part of the lot and my car was in the way. I also find out that they moved about 5 cars. Without asking. What irritated me the most was. I was home when they did it. I never got a call. An email. A knock. Nothing. They just decided to tow and move it. I went back to check on my car and would you guess what? The plastic parts under my bumpers were scratched from being dragged on the pavement and the towing rig. I know it's just plastic and people can't really see it, but this was my first new car. I'm 2 months owning it and I just wanted to take care of it and keep it nice looking. In the end I had the hoa pay for the parts, but not the work. To this day, I'm still mad. Genuinely surprised the hoa didn't charge you for the tow. Good for you though. Small victories. Mine was actually my parents and it luckily didn't last too long. I lived across the street from the neighborhood park and home was boring. No one in the neighborhood was my age so I'd just put my headphones in and get on the swing set and just get lost in the music. I was in middle school. Didn't say a dang thing to anyone. Didn't do anything but sit on a swing set for years. Well one day a mom and her daughter moved into the neighborhood and she had a problem with the idea of a 13 year old girl being in the same park as her daughter. She had a problem with it because apparently 13 year olds had no business there and I should be forced to leave. Went to the hoa. They told her to frick off because I knew the guy. The guy knew me. They knew I was cool. B keeps spending the next few months harassing me every dang time. I'm minding my own dang business on a swing set. B keeps telling me I have to go home or she's calling the cops. Eventually Hoa got sick of it and had a meeting. Sat her down and told her to leave me alone. I wish she would have called the cops. They probably would have said a few things to her for harassing a minor. They want us to pay 2 years back pay. 2015 to 2016. We moved into that house in 2017. Make a claim on your title insurance. They are responsible if they did not disclose this ahead of time. Had a board member tell me that he will write people up personally for political signs if our site manager refused to do it. I sent him the exact law that forbids him from doing that. Word for word that he cannot do it. Plain as day. He still did it and the person he wrote up called me directly, asking what the frick was wrong with me. I told her it was closed out, destroyed from record, then called the board member with the attorney on the other line. 
The attorney literally told him to resign and move if he couldn't comprehend the massive lawsuit he very nearly got the whore into. Source. Property management company. Happened to a neighbor. One of the water lines broke so he wasn't getting water for his sprinklers. He contacted them to fix it. But they hemmed and hawed and dragged their feet. Then they mailed him a complaint about his lawn dying. My neighbor built a pergola in his backyard. It took him two weekends. But it seemed him and his son had a lot of fun. It looked great. He was incredibly skilled. And it was 100% cedar. So. The hoa. Sends him a note saying he has to take it down and ask for permission to put it up. He sent a letter to ask for permission. They denied it and said they wouldn't consider it unless he first took down the pergola. So. He took the whole thing down. Disassembled the whole thing. Then. He sends in a letter to ask for permission. Two months later after review they granted the request. Then he put the whole thing back up. Again. Similar thing happened to another neighbor but he painted his garage. He had to paint his garage three times. Hoas. When buttholes. Are a cross between the mob and Nazis. It is a super horrible intersectional evil. I live in a condo with my dad and stepmom. My car at the time was. Admittedly. A beater. The back end was duct taped up pretty bad and it had a lot of bumper stickers. My parents have really nice and new Buicks. So my 90s Oldsmobile parked outside and they parked in the garage. I went on spring break with my sister and came back to my car in the garage. Apparently, the neighbors were selling their condo and my car in another driveway and having nothing to do with their property, lowered their property value. They complained to the condo association and until I sold that car I wasn't allowed to park it in the driveway or on the street. Parking on the street isn't allowed here anyway. By the time I sold my car they still hadn't sold their condo. It wasn't my Oldsmobile. It was the ugly white carpet in the bathroom. Not awful but definitely sucks. My house was painted blue and we had to choose a different color to repaint it. That color blue was not an approved color anymore so that freaking sucked. In the state where I live ages ago Hoa tried to force an elderly couple to give up their granddaughter who had been recently orphaned because the community was elders only. A kid wasn't a nuisance or anything. She was just a little girl who had lost her parents and the Hoa decided her life was worth less than their peace. Please tell me they were told to frick off. We lived in a city with a military base. The Hoa was composed of retired military officers. They treated the homeowners like general enlisted and expected us to follow their every edict without question. I once went to an HOA meeting, was one of the only people there. They immediately ended the public meeting and reconvened the meeting as private and kicked us out. We had to submit landscaping plans for approval. They had something like 4 months to approve them. Mine were returned after 4 months, denied because I did not have enough lawn in the design. It was a native plant. Drought tolerant design. The landscaping specifications did not specify that any lawn was required. When I pointed this out, they never responded and never approved my plans. I did what I wanted but was always looking over my shoulder waiting for them to find me or order me to remove and redo my landscaping. They never did. Meetings about the HOA and bylaws need to be public. They can't make vote based decisions in private. You've been spotted by the prettiest cat in the western hemisphere. Comment pet 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 to pet the kitty. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.